Cleaning pros mostly have dirty secrets, but a clean secret, a cleaning tool secret that they have is super fine steel wool. This is something that cleaning professionals love. Window cleaning professionals love them. Car cleaning professionals love them. Steel wool, super fine steel wool, which looks like 0000 steel wool on a package, is super fine so that it doesn't scratch the surface, but it is abrasive enough to remove the stuff that you don't want. So in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how the pros use steel wool so that you can be more efficient and cost-effective at home with your cleaning. And I'll also give you some of the precautions so that you know how to use it properly. And just a quick reminder, if you haven't done so already, to subscribe to the Clean My Space channel. And remember to turn on that notification bell so that you always see our videos coming up in your feed. And give this video a thumbs up if you like cleaning with steel wool. Like sandpaper, steel wool is graded on a scale. The one that we're using today is super fine, and I'm just looking at the back of the package here where they have all of the different things listed. Super fine has four zeros. You will always see that. That is the one we're talking about. Don't use any other grade for any of the stuff we're talking about today because I cannot guarantee the results. This stuff can be really abrasive. That's why it's used in all sorts of different home and industrial and commercial applications. So it's very important that you're using the right grade. The other thing to keep in mind is anything that I talk about today, it is really important to make sure that you test on an inconspicuous, which means a hidden area first. That way, if for whatever reason, the finish that I'm demonstrating isn't the exact same as the finish you have at home, you'll know if steel wool is okay to use on that finish as well. Here are a few precautionary tips off the top because I think it's important to know how to use it safely before you actually get into using it. The thing to know about steel wool is that it's sort of like steel cotton candy. So it's super fine floss, if you will, but it's still metal and it's still sharp and there's still things we have to know about. So obviously I'm handling it right now for the video with bare hands. When I'm actually cleaning with it, you will see I'm wearing gloves. It's also really important to keep it away from your eyes, your nose and your mouth because you don't want it getting into the system. After you finish using it, you might notice that there are some shavings or little leave behinds, complements of your steel wool. So just make sure that you wipe that up. You don't want it getting anywhere where it shouldn't. The other thing to keep in mind is that steel wool can rust if it's wet because it is steel. So make sure that you're drying it effectively if you're going to reuse it and always check it to make sure that there's no rust before using it again because rust can actually scratch and do the exact opposite of what you're trying to accomplish when you use steel wool. And one more thing, it's very flammable. So a tip that we're not covering today is that this is a great fire starter. Therefore, if you're storing it somewhere, make sure that it's safe and not anywhere that you could possibly start a fire. Okay, so now that you know all the don'ts, we're gonna get into the do's. There's a school of thought that you can use steel wool dry and there's a school of thought that you can use steel wool damp or you spray a little bit of product or water onto a surface and then use the steel wool to buff it. I would recommend that you test both, they both work. So whatever floats your boat, whatever gets your stains off, that's what I recommend you doing. The first use for steel wool we're going to cover is glass. Now I know what you're thinking, that seems counterintuitive because you're using something that's like scratchy and metal to clean glass, but believe it or not, it does work. So I'll give you a few examples of how this stuff really kicks butt. If you have a windshield and you've done, if you have a car, therefore you would have a windshield and you've done a long drive in the summer and you get sap and dead bugs on your windshield and you don't know how to clean it, steel wool is the way to go. Simply glove up and start buffing that dirty area and you will see that your glass becomes super clean. Another glass area that can be absolutely ridiculous to clean sometimes is a glass shower door or panel. If you find that yours is covered in soap scum and hard water buildup, steel wool is a great way to combat that issue. Again, you're just gonna take a piece, start using a buffing circular motion, and you will see that any of that stuff comes off with ease. Just make sure that you rinse really well. Super fine steel wool is famous for removing rust. So if you have rusty garden tools or hand tools, even rusty scissors or knives, patio furniture, anything that could possibly be rusted, 
Superfine steel wool can easily get that rust off with a few simple buffing motions. All that said, the item that you are buffing cannot be coated or painted because that is a whole other can of worms that we're not getting into today. Chrome is another surface that can really benefit from being cleaned by superfine steel wool. Reason being, it's got this nice high luster finish, but at times it can be really challenging to keep nice and shiny, or if you have chrome on your vehicle, whether it's a car or a motorcycle, you might notice that your chrome gets rusted. So again, all you have to do is take your superfine steel wool, give it a quick buff, whether it's your exhaust tailpipe, your rims, or even your faucet, if you notice there's hard water buildup, you'll see that superfine steel wool restores chrome to its original shiny luster. Every now and then you might get a scuff mark from a shoe or you might get crayon on wallpaper. While those sound rather specific, they can be very challenging to clean if you happen to encounter them. So if you do encounter one of those two specific cleaning challenges, Superfine Steel Wool can help you. On floors, if they're vinyl or porcelain or ceramic, any hard floor surface that's not hardwood I would, or natural stone, I would say you can use your Superfine Steel Wool to quickly buff out those scuff marks. Frankly, you could test in an inconspicuous area on hardwood or natural stone. Personally, I wouldn't be comfortable with it, but hey, it's your house, you do you. Now the other thing I mentioned was wallpaper. If you have wallpaper and little ones and they like to color on the walls, which we all know that happens, super fine steel wool will definitely be able to buff out that crayon for you. That is a good time savings. If you've ever seen our video on how to clean silver, you know how stark the difference can be when you have dirty silver and you see it become nice and clean with this very easy fix. Well, Superfine Steel Wool can do the exact same thing for brass. If you have any brass fixtures, whether they're plumbing fixtures or door uh, accessories, you know, handles, drawer pulls, doorknobs, that kind of thing, that have sort of lost their original luster, or even uh, a brass accessory kicking around the house that just needs some life brought back to it, you can give it a nice buff with your super fine steel wool and you will see that old dingy looking brass will look brand new. I can't believe I haven't talked about steel wool in the nine years that we've been creating Clean My Space videos, but I promise you, we are gonna start bringing it into videos more and more often because I believe in this stuff. It's good, it works, it's inexpensive, and it's straightforward. And that brings me to this week's comment question, which is, how do you use steel wool at home? It doesn't necessarily have to be super fine, but I'm curious, what other uses do you have for steel wool around the house? Let me know in the comments down below. If you wanna see what we're up to during the rest of the week, you can follow along on Instagram. I'm at Melissa Maker, Chad is at the Chad Reynolds. The two of us are at Clean My Space. If you like the channel and you wanna support us, you can watch some other videos, that really helps. Here are a couple I think you're going to love, and if you wanna learn more about Maker's Clean Microfiber Cloths, you can click that button right over there. There is a button down there that lets me know you care, so click it if you liked this video, and click this button right here to subscribe and begin your journey to a cleaner life. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.